guys, um, this is kind of going to be a little bit of a follow-up video to the video I did called What is a Prepper? Um, you know, there were some things I talked about in that video that, that got me thinking about other stuff, and that's why I wanted to make this video. I want to talk about the term prepper, um, and especially I want to talk about the term prepper as it relates to self-reliance. Um, you know, what is comparing prepper to being self-reliant? What is prepping to self-reliance? Um, and that's kind of what I want to talk about, and the, those terms and how they get used, and you know how they're looked at. Uh, you know, in, in the last video I, I did, I talked about how you know when you look at shows like Doomsday Preppers, when you look at the History Channel, when you look at the other shows that have been on other prepping shows, when you look at how the media handles uh, preppers, how they handle survivalists, and how they use those terms with a very negative connotation. Same thing with the government. Um, it really seems like the term prepper has really become a bad thing. It's, it's, it's used almost uh, to describe somebody in a, in a very negative way a lot of the times. And really, I mean, when it comes to, you know, what is a prepper, it's really just a nickname for being self-reliant, for, for making the decision to, to be a little more prepared than your average person. Um, you know, because like I, like I said before, I mean, everybody's a prepper to a degree. You know, everybody prepares in some way, whether it's car insurance, spare tire, medical kit, whatever it is. But, you know, when you, when you take on that term prepper, it's assumed that you've decided to take on a level of preparation a little bit more than other people. So your, your degree of preparation is a little more. And really, it boils down to being self-reliant, to, you know, being able to use your skills and the materials you've gathered to make it through a bad situation. You know, whether it's you're just you by yourself or your family or whatever it is. You've, you've taken on that responsibility to be a little more self-reliant, a little more prepared than, than others uh, usually are. So really, I mean, it is just a, a different term, kind of a nickname for being self-reliant. Um, but the question I want to pose to all you guys out there is, is it time to stop using the word prepper? I mean, has prepper just flooded, you know, our, our, our media and the internet and, and the news media and, and the government so much so, and, and in such a negative way because of these people who are very much against people being self-reliant, um, is it time to start using the term self-reliant instead of prepper or self-reliance? I mean, is it time to, to find another term? I mean, it, it, it really is a question that I want to know. I want to, I want to get your, your, your thoughts on this. I want you guys to comment and, and let me know. I mean, I, I use the term prepper just because I think it, it describes, in general, you know, a part of how I live my life. I've never really been a fan of the term. Um, you know, it's a label, and, and I think people strive to find ways to label themselves, and I don't feel that people should label themselves a prepper. I just feel everybody should be more self-reliant than they are now. Um, so I don't really like the term, but I've used the term because I think it, it gets the point across when I'm, when I'm trying to describe certain aspects of my life. But, you know, again, guys, let me know. Is it time to stop using the term prepper and start using something else along the lines of self-reliance? I mean, you know, leave me comments down below. Let me know. Um, as usual, I appreciate you guys watching. So uh, any questions or comments other than what I'm asking you for, please feel free to leave them down below, and uh, we will talk to you later. Thanks.